Kids Horror Story, Camp Blackwood, Episode 2, The Vanishing Counselor. The next morning, a chilling discovery sent a wave of panic through the camp. Mr. Davis, the head counselor, was missing. His cabin stood empty, his bed untouched. The counselors dismissed it as a prank, but the unease lingered like a thick fog. We were teenagers on the cusp of adulthood, yet a primal fear gripped us. We were alone, vulnerable, and the whispers had escalated, now a constant, unsettling murmur in the wind. As the day wore on, the whispers grew bolder, circling closer to the cabins. We huddled together, exchanging nervous glances, the carefree spirit of camp replaced by a suffocating dread. Then, a blood-curdling scream shattered the silence. Sarah, a girl from our group, had vanished from the lakefront. Panic surged through us. We searched frantically, calling her name until our voices were hoarse, but there was no answer. Only the mocking whispers, now laced with a chilling glee. Nightfall arrived, cloaking the camp in an inky darkness. Sleep was a distant dream. We huddled around the dying embers of the campfire, the flickering flames casting grotesque shadows that danced on the cabin walls. The whispers had morphed into a chorus of guttural growls, circling closer, closer still. We were trapped, prey in a predator's game. Suddenly, a blood-curdling shriek pierced the night. This time, it was Emily. We found her near the edge of the woods, her eyes wide with terror, her screams abruptly cut short by a sickening crunch. In the pale moonlight, we saw it, a hulking, shadowy figure, its eyes glowing with an unnatural light, disappearing into the dense foliage. Camp Blackwood was no longer a haven. It was a hunting ground, and we were the hunted.